The complex logic of computers are made out of three basic logical gates. AND gates, OR gates, and NOT gates. NOT gates are the easiest to understand. Let's start there. A NOT gate, which can also be called an inverter, it outputs a signal that's the inverse of the input. If the input to the inverter is a 1, then the output of the inverter will be 0. Likewise, if the input is a 0, then the output is 1. On a digital schematic, a NOT gate is represented as a triangle with a circle after. The input is on the left, the output is on the right. Pretty simple. Let's keep going. Next comes the AND gate. An AND gate has multiple inputs, but a single output. If all the inputs have a value of 1, then the output will have the value of 1. Otherwise, the output will be 0. On a schematic, the AND gate looks like a capital U, but it's on its side with a line connecting both ends. Last is the OR gate. An OR gate also has multiple inputs and a single output. If any of the inputs have a value of 1, then the output will have a value of 1. Take note that this is different than the way that we use OR in the English language. If any of the inputs are 1, then the output will be a 1. On a schematic, the OR gate looks similar to the AND gate. But the line that connects the ends of the U are curved in a concave manner. The curved part of the U is also more pointy. That's it. You learned about three basic digital gates. Combination of these gates make higher level gates. For more information about digital design, check out our blog. Thanks for watching Science Kids!